and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to be back out. I've been away for a few weeks now. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush, trying to get into position to set up golden hour composition. Um, so if you're wondering where I've been, here is a quick montage of photos and film of where I've been. So we we got Lake and Heath again with the Eagles, the Lightnings, and uh, some Italian F-16s. We've got Bolton Abbey up in Yorkshire. Uh, we've got some Yorkshire scenery. Um, so here's a montage. Have a look. I'll see you in a minute when I get there. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Um, just excuse the video, GoPro's attached. Got some F-15s coming in. We're in a happy place called Lake. Hold your ears.
Right, so I've got myself into the valley. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I was late. I wonders joys of having celiac disease. You think you're ready to go, and then your stomach says, No, you're not. I'm really gonna try and mess your day up. <clears throat> right, let's get on with it. I want to talk to you today. Oh, man, I'm bikers already, man. I want to talk to you today about composition. Um, morning, gents. Do you know what? <clears throat> there is nothing wrong with being polite and saying good morning, is there? No, it's fucking beyond some people, isn't it? Excuse my French. Do you know what? I'm the one with bloody autism. I shouldn't be talking to people. I should be, you know, shouldn't I normally shy away and... There you go. Absolutely kicked myself this morning. <laughs> Missed that. Um, and I forgot. I had another piece for the camera. I always had it. It's right on my strap. Annoying that is. Anyway, um, I'm struggling a bit because that sun, that sun is super, super powerful. Um, so I'm actually going to go out and around and come back. My main point of this this morning was I've never been this way before. Uh, we came up here last night. A friend of mine wants to do some Halloween pumpkin head shots up here with his kids and family. Um, well, what I mean is you put pumpkins on your heads and go from there. I'll put a picture up just there. Uh, my wife and son did it for me last year. Um, but I wanted to come up and see how far into autumn we are. Um, and we're getting there, aren't we? It's starting to look beautiful. It really is. Um, and the leaves are on the ground up in the wooded area where I did this shoot last year. So uh, it'll be good. It's good fun. Kids love it. Um, not every day you get to put a pumpkin on your head. But the main reason this morning was composition. And how I, for one, totally guilty of it, don't pay enough attention um, or spend enough time on one particular image. So that was the aim of the game this morning. Right, so I've done this shot here. Um, it's a little panoramic. It won't be very big. But I've, I've come to the side where there's a bit of dark. You see all the dark in the foreground, sort of here. Um, <clears throat> and what I've tried to do is weight the composition. So I've got plenty of weight on the left. And then when I finish the panoramic over, over that way, I'll show you in a minute, there'll be plenty of weight on the right. So the, my weight on the left, I started with a tree. I focused to infinity, which is here, which is your furthest point in the distance. And then what I've done, is I've done a four shot panoramic and moved all the way over to this side um, although the camera is slightly different in video and I've weighted it with this tree and finished here um, so in a way framing the shot um, as I've kept the camera quite low um, there are some clouds up there but they're blown out at the moment um, I'll put that shot up now um, for, for the central focus, I've stayed on this path, and the path leads all the way up through over to there, so see what that looks like. Right, setting up on this composition, I've come down Try to come down the valley a little bit. Um, I turn you around. Uh, right. We've got a little tree there. It's a little sort of foreground interest. You don't have to have a foreground interest, but it's there. It's got a few red berries on it, so we're going to pick that out. And what we've got is all the beautiful streaks of light. They're sort of coming from 
this area over here and it's starting to dart across the valley floor um, and they're just they're streaks it's uh, it's yeah it, it's really quite pretty um, I think I'm gonna have to do it as a three shot pano um, we're currently on F11, 125 ISO, and one over one hundredth of a second. Um, I shoot slower than that, but there's there is a breeze and there's some very fine grass here, um, and it's it is moving. So one one eightieth, one one hundredth, that that will that will freeze that motion. Um, it's not a very strong wind, but I don't want them blurred. Um, main point this morning for me was I'm not concentrating on my composition enough I'm not thinking about it enough I'm not putting enough time and effort into it and I've read um, a book twice through um, and I've learned so much um, I wouldn't say I've been doing it wrong but my focus and my concentration is not on the composition all the time it's about getting the picture and sometimes you need to stop stand back and take a look at the picture you're trying to take um there's lots of rules and laws on composition isn't there and, and none of them really matter in my opinion as long as your eye is pleased um, when you're trying to please somebody else's eye then it's a different matter um so my main game this morning was to come out and focus on the light focus on my composition getting it right um, hence these beautiful streaks of light in this panorama I've just put up um, and just thinking about what I'm doing so instead of going home with 20, 30, 40, 50 shots I've done three this morning and I've really thought about them and tried to compose them um, using the rule of thirds and looking at the light looking at the weight of the photo is it too heavy on the left is it too heavy on the right um, it doesn't always have to be heavy um, there's there's so much to it um, but that's the main aim of the game this morning um, and then when I walk back through the forest later I'm gonna do some compositions in the forest because I hope the Sun will be up high enough and uh, the there'll be beautiful streaks of light coming through the trees and stuff to light it all up um, and I've always found dealing with composition in the forest harder than I have with landscape um, because that's the way I want to go now I want to I want to stick with landscape and wildlife um, I'll always be an aviation nerd um, there's no taking that away from me that I, that'll be a love forever um, <clears throat> I've just sold a lot of old equipment on MPB um, and my 400 lens is about to go and I'm going to replace that with a 600, the one that is designed for the Sony. Um, the MPB are brilliant, by the way. I'm not sponsored by them. I, I don't receive anything for this. Uh, the whole ease of the process was awesome. Um, and when I set, sent my old equipment in, the categories that I sent it in, um, I put it in excellent condition. And two of the things that I sent in, they actually upped to like new. So that's that's bloody good honesty, isn't it? You know, I've marked it down one, they've marked it up one, so and uh, I got a bit more money for it, which is awesome. Um, so the aim of the game now is to get rid of my 400, get the 600 for those those, those beautiful wildlife shots that I love, um, and focus on my composition and putting things together properly. Um, I've always been happy with what I've done, and if I haven't you know in this digital age you simply delete um, but I'm at a point now where taking you know 50 60 shots home it, you don't concentrate on the one shot long enough um, so you're snapping essentially that's not the way I want to go anymore so I've done three shots this morning of this landscape I'm just going to try and move to see if I can't get this from a different angle um, because these streaks of light are, are absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, and then I'm going to just walk through the forest and see what I can see there and go home and concentrate on... I've done three here, say we do another one here. 
maybe three through through back through the forest that's seven shots instead of 50 um, and I'm going to concentrate on those seven shots um, and, and make them how I want them um, but yeah that's um, I've got some friends hello see now the detail in that Sony lens when I get all my hands on that 600 these horses will look beautiful um, but the main aim of today as well is I haven't been out for a few weeks it's just to be out oh it's lush it's a bit of a breeze it's 10 degrees I've got the sun on my face oh. yeah I, I love it I love it um, but let's crack on Right, off we go, drone time. All I want to try and do is get up nice and high, get a shot of that valley. Um, yeah, sod it, let's push it all the way up. Right then, you have to excuse me on this video. I've, uh... I've got the sun right over my shoulder. Um, and it's really playing havoc with my bloody camera. Or my screen, sorry. Right, let's go all the way up, 400 feet. Sod it. And we'll go way, way back over the valley. Got an ND8 filter on there at the moment. Um, right, it's 400, mile, 400, 400 miles up. I don't think so. 400 feet up. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my back slightly. <laughs> I've got the bloody. Imagine the way I do it this morning, everything's just going to get blown out. Right. Sort of looking over the top of the Quantox there. Um, quite like that. Let's uh, get rid of that horrible sky. Tilt the camera down. Let's move over that way. <laughs> and we get right up through the valley. There we go. There's the valley. It. Right, so we've got kind of got one side of the valley shaded, and the other one. I don't want that sky in there. Come back down. That's, that's 20 degrees down. Oopsie. Sorry, uh, my. Uh, Controls playing havoc this morning, it would appear. Right, I'm going to set this up as an AEB shot. Um, so, automatic exposure bracketing. Um, I find it works better with some of the drones with a lower megapixel count. So, let's um, stop recording. Photo. Uh, we'll do a. F oh no, we'll keep to a three shot AEB shot. And then let the camera do its thing. There we go. I will bring it up slightly. Do another one. And there we go. Right. Okay, let me talk you through this shot. Bear with me, because it's a little bit weird. But over here, there's a path that leads up to these trees. This tree. This is the tree that I've focused on. My weight is on this side. And it's also on this side. I've got a tree here. I've also got a tree there. 
I've got a beautiful streak of light crossing across the bottom here and it kind of makes it work. I've cut out the sky. It, the sky's it's crap this morning. Absolutely crap. Um, there's a few puffy white clouds and that's it. But the point of this shot is the light. So you've got the light, you've got it all streaking through here. Um, and the main focus point is those two trees off in the distance where the path leads up and it also splits off. Um, I like it. <laughs> you may not. But hey, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'll put that one up now. So I've got this scene set up here. Um, you've got the fence running in, focused into the middle. I've set it at F9 to get a reasonable amount of focus throughout the picture and focused it right at the end of the pathway where the, the fence crosses the path. Um, set it at 1 15th of a second F9 ISO 160. I might actually just bump that ISO up slightly, yeah. ISO 200 and what you've got is you've got, you've got all the leaves and the path running up along the fence, but sort of about here, it just turns orange um, where all the leaves coming off the tree and it's quite beautiful. You've got all the streaks of light coming in as well. It's, yeah, I'll put that one up. <laughs> right, um, I'm actually gonna say goodbye Thank you for watching. Um, please give me a like, it pushes the video, subscribe and comment. Um, I'm gonna carry on down the route of composition over the next couple of weeks and try and find some beautiful stunning places to do and some more difficult compositions as well in the forest and stuff like that. Um, the reason I'm saying goodbye is because I'm running out of battery. The mic is about to run out. The Osmo is about to run out and I've bought no, um, I bought no power sources to, to keep me on charge. Um, so thanks very much for watching. I'm going home for a bacon sandwich and a coffee. I will see you on the next outing and we'll delve into composition even deeper. All right, thank you. Cheers, have a good Sunday. And of course, before I forget, if there's anything in between here and the van, I'll put those photos up now.